What is the CCP's goal here economically? I mean, we know they, they want to be the number one economic power. We know they're trying to replace the dollar. But in the short term, I mean, and we know the numbers that Beijing uh, promotes or the, the, the numbers that they report back, we all know the, those are fake, right? They're all padded. Uh, they're, not, they're not real. For the average Chinese citizen, uh, what, what, will the, what will happen to them if their economy continues to sink at the level it is? Yeah, first of all, I think there's a, a collapse of the population, the number, the thick the number. They don't really have 1.4 billion people um, as long as like they just continue to fake everything and then to fool uh, internally everyone. And also uh, to, you know, they don't they don't really believe it's better for China to have more people that starts like in Mao's time. Uh, like Mao would say, oh, like if half of the China uh, die, like they'll still have the other half. That That's like 300 million people. So they believe it's, they can gain more control. Uh, it's more it's better for the CCP and the princelings and the families and the kleptocrats to uh, control less uh, population because then they have more power. And also they believe to have less, you know, uh, people to, to have people have less access to resources is better to, for them. So it's their their ideology and their mentality. It's extreme and also it's opposite to what we believe they, they should be. And now, uh, like a, a, a couple of days, uh, several days ago, we exposed that she is uh, going to seek to meet with Biden again in San Francisco, just ahead of the uh, you know, APEC meeting in United States. Now we, we said uh, a couple of weeks ago, like she is forming this uh, new axis of evil with Russia, with North Korea. And then later we saw uh, things are developing, the, the meeting actively with, uh, I think the Taliban, the, the, this, this regime, the CCP regime is the very first on planet to name an ambassador to the Taliban. Imagine that. And now like she is meeting with uh, Syria Assad um, she is hoping to flex his muscle and also to show to all these dictators how much control he has, uh, like how much resource he has, and also how much impact he can has, have on uh, the United States. So that's why one of the ma major reasons he's still seeking to meet with uh, Biden and Biden administration, and they're actively working together. Uh, and now like they're forming this uh, barter system. We, we talk about the barter system, like, the, like what they've been doing with the Saudi Arabia, like they're providing, uh, you know, weapons to Saudi Arabia and Saudi Arabia would uh, directly give oil to Xi. So they're forming this new ecosystem without the dollar, without dollar system, without like long arm jurisdiction under United States. That's why like a lot of the uh, focus uh, shifted from the CCP, like shifted to uh, uh, Singapore. Miles also talked about this, like Singapore is the one of the biggest, like I think 60 to 70 percent of the the money is like money laundering doing through Singapore. So that's also why a couple of weeks ago we saw the United States is, uh, is placing lots of pressure on Singapore investigations because that's where mon money is flowing.